Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're all enjoying the start of spring and I hope that you're getting some warmer weather where you live. We are finally getting some warmer temperatures here in North Carolina. Flowers are starting to bloom. My cherry blossom tree is blooming in my front yard and it's just beautiful. I'm so excited that winter is over. Today I have a destination wax haul to share with you. It has been a while since I have filmed a destination wax haul for my channel. It is certainly not because I don't love destination wax anymore or because I haven't been ordering. If you've been continuing to watch my empties videos, you'll know that two weeks out of every month, I take care of my grandmother who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's last year. So that has significantly decreased the amount of time that I have to devote to filming videos and to this hobby. So I'm really excited to be able to film this video today. This is a collective haul. This is three separate orders. These orders are from January, February, and most recently from the mid-March restocks. I did pick up the new scent sampler from January, which I'll talk about. Most of these other scents are scents that are repurchases for me, and there are a few new scents that I'm excited to talk about as well. Let me know in the comments below if you've been ordering from Destination Wax. Did you pick up the new scent sampler? Are there any that are your standout favorites when you've been warming them so far? Y'all know that I absolutely adore her wax so that certainly has not changed and even though i haven't been filming i have of course still been ordering and melting not only her wax but other vendor wax as well as with all of my hauls i will show you the wax up close talk about the scent a little bit and give you my thoughts of course because this is a haul first impressions type of video for the most part these are going to be my thoughts of the scent on cold sniff of course when you melt the scent that could change i could love it i could not love it and the scent itself can change quite significantly once you warm it. A good portion of these are repurchases for me, so I'll be able to talk about those scents a little bit more. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing the haul, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the samples first and then talk about the mini cakes and then I'll move into this, the scent shots. Because this is three separate orders, I do have several samples here to show you. The first sample she sent me was Calypso Melon. This is fresh and fruity honeydew melon, Granny Smith apples, and strawberries. This is a scent that I have had before. I am not a fan of honeydew melon. So for me to be able to tolerate or enjoy a honeydew melon scent, that honeydew melon note has to really be buried with a lot of other melons or other fruits. And this one is one that is tolerable to me. I don't love it, but I definitely don't hate it. I melt it and I enjoy it for what it is, but it's not one that I personally repurchase. I do feel like the honeydew melon makes itself known. So if you do like that scent and you like a little bit of a tropical fruity kind of melon scent I think you'd like this one the next sample I have here is cafe brulee this is buttery caramel brulee with hints of coffee hazelnut and marshmallow and this one is absolutely delicious you definitely have to like coffee scents to be able to enjoy this one because the coffee is definitely present but there is this amazing buttery caramel note that comes through and I specifically say buttery because that buttery note does come through it does smell like like a homemade buttery caramel with coffee and there is also this nuttiness that you pick up as well it is fabulous definitely a sweeter coffee scent and i think it's fantastic i'm looking forward to melting this one the next sample she sent me is orange fruit loops this is fruit loop cereal with extra orange loops so i'm not a huge fan of cereal scents i'm not a fan of the tricks or the fruit loop typically i can tolerate it or i can tone it down with like another kind of bakery scent and that tends to be a lot better for me but this one is definitely more of that citrusy fruit loop cereal kind of scent so if you like those scents i think you'd like it she sent me a sample of cactus and sea salt. This is green cactus, fresh sea spray, sea moss, and driftwood. I really do enjoy this scent. This one has this really nice briny, salty vibe to it, which is awesome. Not the same as salty sea air because it also has this aquatic, slightly green note that comes through as well. Super, super fresh. If you are a fresh lover, and if you're one that doesn't like a cologne type fresh scent, I think you'd love this one. It's one that I really enjoy. The next sample I received is this one-time experimental blend, Muguet de Bois and Grass Stain. Muguet de Bois is Lily of the Valley, which is a white floral scent. I actually am not a huge fan of Lily of the Valley typically, but with the grass stain, that really nice kind of sweetened grass scent, the Lily of the Valley isn't dominant in this blend. And it's really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to melting this one. I'm she sent me a sample of citron and fig. This is fresh fig, lemon, and spices. And I think it's a newer type scent because I don't recall that I've tried this one before. It is really, really nice. Fig has a very distinct, 
sweet, somewhat pungent smell. And if you've ever smelled fig, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You do get that, but it's definitely not the top note. I definitely get the lemon and the spices first. And so it comes across as this really cozy, warm, but clean scent at the same time. There is something about this that makes me feel like I could wear it on my person, like as a unisex kind of body care kind of scent as well. So really, really like this one a lot. And I'm looking forward to melting this one. She sent me a sample of clove, which I'm really happy to have. I love clove as a scent. It is a warm and cozy scent to me. And she has a really nice clove. It smells exactly like a bottle of cloves that you would use for baking or cooking or like we have a ham recipe that we use where we poke cloves all in the ham while it bakes and it just is so warm and cozy i love this scent a lot she sent me a sample of wild mint and ivy which i've had before this is a really nice green scent more green than it is mint this also is a very similar scent to one of the bathing garden scents if you try that one this one's very similar and then she also sent me a sample of white tea and berries this is a strong herbal tea blend of white tea with tart dried berries and I've had this one before too. This one is not my favorite. This one is definitely a strong herbal tea, but I think because it's strong and herbal and then the berries themselves are very tart, almost like a dried cranberry or dried blueberries. It's not like a fresh fruit at all. For some reason, it doesn't work for me personally. Before I move on, I just also wanted to mention that she did change her sample bag. She used to put her samples in the little bags that like folded over and they would just kind of stick. And now she's actually changed all of her samples to these zip bags, which I think is really awesome because I'm sure that these bags are probably a little bit more expensive. I could be wrong, but it is nice that she's, you know, gone this extra step to just continue to improve the business. And now she has the scent descriptions as well as the pour dates on her labels and on her, all of her stuff. So it's just like so easy to film a video or to put the wax away. I don't have to worry about looking up scent descriptions. It's just or writing anything down. It's awesome. Moving on to the scents that I purchased. I picked up this four pack block in Autumn Walk. How cute is this block. I love that orange and the brown. I think this is also going to make a really neat time lapse video. Autumn Walk is a repurchase. It's crisp autumn leaves, fresh air, forest berries, pine, cedar, and aspen. And I just fell in love with the scent last fall. And I knew that I wanted to go ahead and pick up more so I would have it when this coming fall comes. I am a seasonal melter. So if there are scents that I know that I already love, I like to go ahead and sort of, I guess, pre-order them and just have them on hand for when the season comes. So I don't have to worry about missing out on them or getting them. And you know, maybe Maybe they're not being at their strongest. This scent is so cozy, fresh, crisp, slightly heavy because of all the different woods notes. Definitely woodsy. Yeah, you get that, that bark. It's just perfect. It's perfect. If you like your fall fresh kind of scents that lean more toward a, like a bit heavier, this could be a winter or fall scent in my opinion, then I think you would love this one. I absolutely love it and really happy to have more of it. I picked up two mini cake bags of black currant and fig and I've already actually melted one of these. This was actually a top 18 scent of 2018 for me. I absolutely fell in love with it last year. This is black currants, sweet figs, rich port wine, spicy black peppercorns, and a bright kick of citrus. I love like the two-toned mini cakes that she does. I think they're so pretty. What I love about the mini cakes is that they're the perfect size to pop in my warmers. I have a bit larger dish warmers. And so these are the perfect size for that. I love the blocks as well because they're really great for like cutting in half and blending and, something, and stuff like that. But if it's a scent that I know that I love and it's a scent that I know that I love on its own, I do really like the mini cakes for just being able to pop it in and go. This is such a sophisticated, warm, cozy scent. There is fruit in this, but I don't want you to think it's tropical fruit. It's not bright, juicy fruit. It's definitely more of a dark red, sophisticated, but not perfumed or body care kind of fruit. Like it smells like real fruit, but you get that tartness from the current. You get this richness and sophistication. And if you've ever tried Pepper Plum from Bath and Body Works, it's in that same family, not a dupe of that scent but in the same family i would say in the same family as wine cellar as well but again not a dupe of that just sort of in that same sort of family where you have this sophisticated fruit scent and it's fabulous it's super strong as well i love it super glad to have it back in my life i picked up a mini cake bag and moon spice cookie this is sugar cookies coffee and celtic moon spice this was a top scent for 2017 for me 
and one that I have continued to melt and enjoy through all of last year and obviously this year as well. I love the scent so much. The Celtic Moon Spice is cinnamon and clove. Can't remember if it has nutmeg or not. Mixed with this amazing cookie and then there's a hint of the coffee. None of the notes overpower each other. It all blends together perfectly and it is so delicious and yummy. I definitely think the coffee is the background note though. So if you are someone who doesn't like coffee scents, I think you might still like this one. It may be one that you want to give a try at least because I don't find the coffee to be overpowering or dominant. I just love it. I know this is a lot of people's favorites and I'm really happy about that because it's one of my favorites as well. So I highly, highly recommend this one as well. I picked up this mini cake bag in Juniper Walk. This is Evergreen Juniper and Fresh Sweet Mountain Air and this was my top scent of 2018. Amazing, absolutely wonderful. I melted through probably about 12 blocks of this last year. I just kept going back to it. It was perfect for fall and winter and I definitely wanted to have more. It is a cousin to Sweater Weather but not a dupe of that scent. It has a sweet freshness to it mixed with that juniper and that sort of earthy woodsy vibe and it's just fantastic. Absolutely love this scent. If you like your woodsy type scents for any time of year or for fall and winter, highly recommend this one. I love it. I picked up this mini cake bag in Fraser Fur. This is Siberian Fur, Cedar Wood, and Sandalwood. It is Times Fraser Fur type and it is a spot on dupe to the Times classic Fraser Fur type scent. I absolutely love to be able to have this scent in wax form because the Times candle is quite expensive and it never has been a super strong thrower for me when I have bought the candle in the past. So really happy to have this scent in wax form. Love it. It's perfect for winter. Again, a nice woodsy scent. Definitely it's very similar to a Christmas tree but it does have this extra special something that I love and these are the scents that made me look even though I'm glad winter's over I'll definitely be enjoying this one in winter 2019. And the last mini cake bag that I picked up is lemon peppercorn. This is lush rich mixture of black peppercorns, warm spices, and lemon and another scent that I absolutely adore. I just finished up a mini cake bag that I had in the scent which you'll see in my March empties and I just knew that I needed to have more because this is a scent that I don't that I just like to have on hand because every now and then I'll just get a craving for it and I want to melt it and I was doing a bit of lemon this month and it was just perfect. It is a very very different type of lemon. It is not a tart lemon curd. It's not a bakery lemon. It is a sophisticated warm lemon. It is a lemon that I feel would be good for any time of year for winter, spring, summer, or fall because that warm peppercorn just takes this lemon scent to an entirely different level and it just becomes very lush and sophisticated and I personally absolutely love it. It is just so unique and divine and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a very different type of lemon scent. Okie dokie, that is all the mini cakes. I'm gonna rearrange just a little bit and then we'll move on to the scent shots. Okie dokie. So I have quite a few scent shots here. I do have the new scent sampler that came out in January and then the other scent shots are scents that I reordered or a couple of them are new to me. So I'm going to start with the scent shots that I've tried in the past. I do have six scent shot cups of pralines and popcorn. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This scent I absolutely adore. The reason why I ordered six of these is because unfortunately one of the oils is no longer available for this scent. So I'm just gutted by that. This is one of my my most favorite popcorn praline kind of blends. It's just perfect. You get the butteriness in this one. I think it's the buttery aspect of this that really sets it apart from some other like praline popcorn, caramel popcorn kind of blends I've tried. It's amazing by itself, super strong, and it's also really amazing mixed with a lot of other scents. I've done a couple of custom loaves with this scent in it. I do have like a four pack block of this scent still, but when she said that these are the last scent shots and that will be like the end of the oil, I knew that I needed to go ahead and get several of these. I know that she is slash was working on replacing this with something else. She sent me a couple of testers. They weren't quite it. I mean, it's not going to be the exact thing. I understand that, but the testers didn't have that buttery aspect, which I love. So I'm hoping that she'll find something that's pretty close, at least somewhat ind indistinguishable for my nose. I absolutely love the scent. I'm glad at least I was able to get six scent shots. I picked up a lavender sweet basil. This is lavender sweet basil with a bit of eucalyptus, cedar, and sweet patchouli. I have had this scent before. When I first started buying Destination Wax, I think I bought all of her lavenders that she had at the time. And this is one that I couldn't quite remember if I liked it or not. It definitely has this like clean, earthy aspect to it. It's a very herbal, fresh scent. There are several different types of lavenders, as you all know. You have a, a regular herbal lavender, like lavender in nature is herbal. So to me, you have like a very authentic lavender scent. You 
do have some that are sweet and most of those are blended with something. You have a masculine cologne type lavender and those are the ones that I don't personally prefer. Like if you see certain lavender and sage blends, those typically are in my, to my nose, very much masculine cologne type blends. You have your lavender kind of fresh cleaner kind of blends. So there's all different types of lavender. So if you're someone who's like, I don't like lavender, try out different lavenders because you may not like just one particular kind of lavender. Maybe you don't like herbal lavender, but you like sweet lavender. Maybe you're like me and you don't really like the heavier kind of cologne type lavenders, but you like an herbal or an authentic kind of lavender. So, you know, don't, I, I just mentioned all this and here I am rambling like this video is not going to be long enough because I just feel like so many people say that I don't, they don't like lavender scents, but maybe they haven't tried all the different varieties of lavender. And Rebecca's lavender sampler is a really good way to be able to experiment and try all the different types of lavender. So anyway, yeah, this is definitely more of that fresh, clean kind of lavender, and it's really nice for this time of year. The next one I have is Meyer Lemon Salsa. This is Sweet Meyer Lemon, Pineapple, Kiwi, Fruit, and Tropical Melon. And I love the bright, vibrant yellow of this. It kind of matches my nails. I have had this one before as well. It is is a fruity lemon scent so it's not a bakery lemon it's not a clean lemon it's not a tart lemon you definitely get those fruity pineapple kiwi and other tropical fruit kind of scents. so it really does smell like a fruit salad the lemon is present but it's not dominant it's really nicely blended with all the other fruits so it's sort of like a tropical fruit cocktail kind of scent with an extra dose of lemon and citrus really nice very bright and refreshing perfect in my opinion for the end of spring and moving into summer it's also really nice mixed with her strawberry seeds if you want to make it like a strawberry lemon kind of scent if you add any really a lot Lot of her different strawberries I've mixed it with but her strawberry seeds specifically it is really nice it adds this really nice juicy strawberry note to it and it's fantastic I picked up white chocolate raspberry truffle this is chocolate raspberry truffle dipped in rich sweet white chocolate this is a repurchase for me I actually just melted one of these in February and I love it it has a very jammy raspberry aspect to it it's not like a very tart raspberry and it's not a perfumed raspberry it is very much a jammy raspberry with just this nice amount of white confectioner sugar white chocolate kind of notes it's very creamy and delicious and it's really really nice i love it a lot if you like raspberry foodie scents i think you'd love this one apparently i also picked up a scent shot in black Kern and fig because i love the scent so much i've already talked about it so i'll move on i picked up a scent shot in blackberry jam shortbread cookies this is buttery shortbread cookies filled with sweet rich blackberry jam and this is a scent that a lot of vendors have i'm not a huge fan of this scent because that shortbread cookie note to me sort of registers as not a cornbread scent but that sort of non-sweetened bakery scent similar to a cornbread and I'm just not the hugest fan of that this tends to be a lot better for me melting at least and I do think it's a really nice blender scent it blends with so many different things and if you add like a sweet cookie or like her lavender sugar cookie with this is really nice as well so for me I probably won't melt this on its own it's going to be a blender I picked up a scent shot in blackberry ginger ale this is sweet tart blackberries and crisp refreshing ginger ale and I was really happy when she decided to do this blend her ginger ale is amazing super authentic cold and bubbly the perfect amount of like evanescence. I absolutely love her ginger ale and then you mix it with this really sweet tart blackberry scent. No perfume notes in this blackberry. It's just a really nice blackberry. This smells so delicious and I already know what's going to mix absolutely beautifully with this is her yellow pear. The yellow pear with this blackberry ginger ale is going to be fantastic and I think I might be doing a custom loaf from that. If you like ginger ale scents and blackberry and you've been looking for this combination, highly recommend it because it's delicious. I picked up a scent shot in pretzel blueberry. As you can see, I've already chopped this because I'm going to be melting this probably tomorrow. This is her pretzel scent with her blueberry basket scent. I think it's a really nice combination. The pretzel is this salty, yeasty scent, and then you mix it with that sweet, fruity, blueberry basket scent of hers, and it's just a really nice combination, that sort of salty, bready kind of note mixed with the fruit. I love when scents have that kind of contrast, and they have a little bit of salt, of sweet, and tart, or, you know, salty and sweet, and I just love it when they kind of play off each other, because to me, it just makes for a more complex scent, so I really like this one. Glad to have it back. Another repurchase for me is Blueberry Basket. This is a basket full of ripe blueberries, grapes, and plums. It's a rich, sweet berry scent. As you can see, I've already cut it and I've already been melting this one because I am doing a blueberry and banana theme this month. And again, I really like this scent from her. It is 
slightly candied fruit scent, but it's definitely a blue slash purple fruit scent. The grapes, plums, and blueberries definitely describe it. You don't get a red fruit. You don't get strawberries or raspberries. It's a really nice combination. And I really do like this one by itself, but I also love to mix this with a little bit of bakery, a little bit of lemon. It mixes really well with banana. So just so many different things you can do with this scent and it's great. I picked up a scent shot in lavender rosemary. This is a sweet blend of lavender, sage, and rosemary. Again, this is one that I have purchased before. I couldn't quite remember this one, but when I smelled it, I remembered it immediately. What I failed to mention earlier is that you can also have soapy kind of lavender scents, and that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a men's soap, and it is not my personal favorite form of lavender. I would say actually the lavender in this is not dominant. I get more of that sage and rosemary, and it's not like an authentic garden sage is definitely more of that sage they use in men's colognes. I don't necessarily think scents can be need to be masculine or feminine. I think anybody can wear anything and enjoy anything they like, but I guess the reason why I always say masculine is because they use this kind of sage in cologne scents so often that that's just where my mind goes. And yeah, so for me, this is definitely a men's soap, very clean type of scent. I picked up two scent shots in Juicy Fruit. This is fruity with spicy essential oils of orange, grapefruit, and cinnamon. And this is one a scent that I had ordered at my very first Destination Wax haul that is still on my channel. And I remember that when I smelled it on Cold Sniff, I thought that the cinnamon came through quite prominently and it just went in my basket and I just never melted it. And then when I finally melted it like a couple of months ago, I just fell in love with it. The, the cinnamon note definitely was not dominant when it was melting and it was just so fruity and juicy, very, very much like an authentic juicy fruit. I mean, it smells just like the piece of gum. I have also smelled this scent. Some um, independent candle companies and other vendors, they will call this scent odor eliminator. So if you've had like this odor eliminator scent that has like a fruity vibe, it may actually be juicy fruit. But to me, it does smell like authentic juicy fruit, but it is really perfect for this time of year. So fruity, juicy, and I love it. Glad to have it back. I picked up a scent shot in brandied pear. This is sweet baked pears flambéed with a rich cider brandy. And I don't know why I've never tried this scent. I have tried all of her pears, but for some reason I've never tried this one. And it's pretty good. I actually like it. It reminds me a lot of the honey pear cider Bath and Body Works candle that came out last year or two years ago, or there was like some kind of honey pear scent that came out. It reminds me of that. There is something oddly sweet, and I think that's the brandy note that I'm not 100% sure about. So this may be one that when I melt, I'm like, mm, not going to be for me. But at least on cold stiff, I think I like it. It definitely makes me think more of a fall kind of scent, like it's definitely a cider aspect. You do get that pear and it's really nice. But then there is this extra sweetness and almost sort of fall-like quality to this one. I picked up the scent shot in Christmas in Jamaica. This is balsam fir, orange, grapefruit, pineapple, and cranberry. Again, another repurchase as of most of these are for me. I really, really like this scent. I think it's a scent actually you can melt any time of year because the fruity qualities of this scent don't make me think of like a traditional Christmas scent. You definitely get that balsam fir and I think all those different fruits is just fantastic. There is a bathing garden scent that is an exact replica of this one. Tinsel Forest from the bathing garden. It smells exactly like this to my nose and so I, and I love that scent as well. I think it's just a really nice fruity scent. It probably is one that I'll save for fall and winter of this year. I picked up lemon leaves and mint. This is lemon leaves, lemon oil, lemon verbena, and fresh spearmint. And I don't know that I've tried this one before. I think it may be a relatively new scent. I might also have this scent where I have all my other scent shots and I just have forgotten about it. This one is fantastic. The spearmint in this is just amazing. The lemon in this is very much like an authentic lemon essential oil. It's not overly tart. It's not like a lemon curd. Definitely not a bakery lemon. And it's not really like a cleaning lemon either. It doesn't smell like lemon pledge. I was worried about that. It doesn't at all. It definitely has this authentic, like you've just taken up a lemon and maybe you've, you've got some of the lemon rind, but not as tart as lemon rind scents can be. It definitely just has this sort of aromatherapy spa-like vibe to it. And then you mix with that fresh spearmint, that sweet mint, and it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to melt this one. I love it. I picked up the scent shot in tomato leaf. This is fresh tomato leaves and stems. I've had this one before. It is such an amazing, authentic tomato scent. It smells just like the Bath and Body Work tomato vine scent they brought out a couple of years ago. I absolutely love 
it. It doesn't smell like a tomato itself. It's not the juicy fruit of a tomato plant. It smells like the stems and the leaf. If you've ever grown tomatoes in the garden, you'll know that very distinct tomato scent that I'm talking about. If you rub your hands on the vines of a tomato plant, you kind of get that yellow residue and that's what this smells like. It is just such an awesome scent. And I picked up a scent shot in grass stain. This is a single note scent of fresh green grass. It is just like it says, it smells like that sweet grass scent that we all know and love if you smell scent seeds grass scent. It is just a really nice scent for spring in my opinion. It's great to blend it with different things. And I've melted this from her before and it's really strong. All right, those are all the scents that I repurchased just for me. And now I'm gonna move into the new scent sampler. The first new scent from the new scent sampler is Lavender Stardust. This is lavender, pink sugar, peppermint, and a touch of vanilla. And I did not think that I was gonna like this one because I am not a huge fan of pink sugar. And it's actually one that when I melt, I probably won't love because again, I'm not a fan of pink sugar. But actually the peppermint and the lavender notes come out as the dominant notes to me, at least on cold sniff. And I do get the pink sugar, but it's definitely not the strongest note in this blend. So I'm hoping that maybe when I melt this one, it will be one that surprises me and I end up liking. If you like this kind of blend, if you like lavender pink sugar, then I think that you'll absolutely love this one. The next one I have here is Vegas Showgirl. This is a dishy blend of melon, pink flowers, coconut milk, and leather. And I actually like this one a lot more than I thought I would. I am not a huge fan of leather and wax unless it is very well blended because for me, it can be a very overpowering, kind of almost heavy note for me. And if anyone wonders what it smells like, it really does smell like leather. If you've ever bought like a leather bag or a leather jacket, it, it smells just like that. But this one, you get that leather note, but then you mix it with the fruit and that creamy coconut, and somehow it becomes very appealing to me. It definitely does sort of transport you. Like, it does make me go to backstage at a show where you have people, like, getting ready, specifically women, getting ready to perform in a show, and they're putting on their costumes. And it does kind of make me think of that. So, that's what her brand is all about, is destinations and transporting you to another place. And that's really what it does. So even though this is not one that I would typically gravitate toward, I am really looking forward to melting this one and seeing if it surprises me as so many of her scents end up doing. And you know, I love the fact that with a new scent sampler, any samplers, it gives you myself an opportunity to try a scent or a blend that maybe is not something that you would traditionally like. But I've just found that so often if you try new things, you'll be surprised how much you like new things. The next new scent I have is Desert Tumbleweed. This is sage, sweetgrass, cedar, peppermint, spearmint, and vanilla sugar. And the peppermint and spearmint definitely come out as top notes for sure. And then underneath that, there is this outdoorsy kind of vibe, earthy, woodsiness that comes through. I'm not getting a masculine cologne type sage, so I'm happy about that. It's definitely registering more as like an authentic garden sage. I really like this one a lot. So I'm really interested to melt this one to see how the notes all come together when it's warm. But yeah, this one is really, really interesting. It does sort of make me think of something warm. So yeah, another really interesting one I'm looking forward to melting. The next new scent is called Blackjack. This is black chamomile brightened up with apple, clary sage, and extra chamomile. I do not like this scent because I am not a fan of chamomile or black chamomile. The Bath and Body Works scent, black chamomile, is actually a scent that I buy my son every single year, and I just don't like it. To me, it is a masculine cologne type scent. To me, it's very heavy. It gives me almost an instant headache. If you are someone who likes these type of scents, I definitely refer you to my friend Sasha at Sasha Isms. Just because I don't like a scent doesn't mean you're not gonna like a scent. This just is not a scent that I prefer because it's very heavy and masculine to my nose. Along that same line, she brought out black chamomile. This is chamomile and tonka bean, wild lily, and bergamot, the Bath and Body Works type. Again, I can't smell this one too much because it gives me a headache, but I can say that it is an exact dupe of the black chamomile scent from Bath and Body Works because I do buy that scent every single year for my son for Christmas and sometimes for his birthday as well. He loves that scent. So it just kind of smells like him to me. Um, so very spot on dupe if you like that scent. The next one I have is Shop Around. This is Parma Violet and Creamy Fruit Candy with a hint of cinnamon. And I thought that I would hate this one, but I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. I am not a fan of Violet and Wax. I know a lot of people really love that scent, but for me, it reminds me of these candies that I had when I was a kid, like these little like chalky kind of candies that was like a violet candy and 
ugh, I think I ate maybe too many of them or something and I got sick. I don't know, but it just is not a scent that I like. I do not like violet and wax. It has a very, very distinct smell. If it's blended really well into a scent, I can tolerate it. And I do, I think that cinnamon is kind of cutting that, that candied violet kind of note. So this one's tolerable on cold sniff. I don't think it's one that I'm going to be, I'm going to love, but if you like violet, then I definitely check out this blend. The next scent, the next new scent I have is Poolside Cabana. This is pineapple, coconut milk, jasmine, peach blossom, salty sea air, and musk, and I love this one. It does smell like a day at the pool. The salty sea air is there, but it's not overly dominant, which is actually kind of hard to do because salty sea air can be a very dominant scent in any blend. I get pineapple coconut milk first, followed by the peach. And the salty sea air is actually kind of in the background, but it does smell like you have, like you're sitting by a pool or out by a beach even, and you've got like a fruity cocktail in your hand. So you definitely get this beachy pool kind of vibe and I'm really digging it. This is going to be great for summer. The next scent I have is 50 Ways. It's a green floral blend with not quite 50 components. It is an elaborate green floral blend of bamboo leaf, orchid, vanilla, brown and white sugars, orange blossom, bergamot, sandalwood, musk, amber, peppermint, spearmint, and lemon. And even though mints make up part of the blend, this is not a minty scent. I really like this one. If you like your green scents, I think you'll like this one. The floral notes do make themselves known, which worry me just a little bit because I am not a huge fan of floral scents, of heady, perfumed, heavy floral scents. It's not my fan. I'm not a fan. And there's also like that sort of bamboo specifically is what I'm pulling out. Sort of like the fresh bamboo candle from Bath and Body Works is balancing the floral notes in this. So I'm really looking forward to melting this one and trying it. The next new scent I have is Quickie Wedding. This is fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. And this is amazing. Of course, it would be her strawberry scents are just divine her strawberry seed specifically is such an amazing scent you get that sugary but not overly sugarly sweet strawberry you get a little bit of a tartness that comes through as well and the marshmallow doesn't really make itself known at least on cold sniff like in and of itself but you do get something like creamy and sweet in the background and it's just perfection if you like your strawberry strawberry scents definitely i think you'll love this one the next new scent i have is you're so vain this is a sweet scent of strawberry orange passion fruit and creamy vanilla with a touch of violet and I actually thought that I would like this one more than shop around because this one says it has a touch of violet but actually to me at least on cold snap the violet in this one comes out a lot more yeah I'm not a fan of this one again because I do not like violet and wax like I know a lot of, a lot of people love her ghostess scent and I don't like that one so if you like violet scent I think you'd like this one to me it's more of a touch of violet at least on cold snap I'm not getting like the other notes very strongly because I'm at least just overpowered with the violet. So I think again, if you like Ghostess, if you like her violet scents, then I think you'd like this one. The next scent is Suspicious Lies. This is a sensual blend of neroli, rose, rosewood, orange flower, and a hint of grapefruit. And this smells exactly like the frozen bath bomb. Oh, I love that frozen scent. They've discontinued the frozen bath bomb, at least for now. I hope they bring it back. There are a lot of oils in this because you can actually like see them on the wax itself. The orange flower, that orange blossom kind of note does come through with a neroli in that citrusy grapefruit kind of just brightens the whole blend if you know what frozen smells like then you know what this smells like it's really a spot on dupe and i cannot wait to melt this one i'm definitely going to melt this one at the same time that i use one of my last frozen bath bombs and lastly, I have the Hangover Cure. This is a clean, crisp, and fresh blend. This will jumpstart your second wind. Lemongrass, lemon cypress wood, and lime. And it is definitely all those things. It's definitely clean, crisp, and fresh. Has this sort of outdoorsy, clean vibe. And it does have a little, it doesn't smell like lemon pledge, but there is something that kind of makes me think of a cleaning product but it's not overly so. Like it's not one that I smell like, oh gosh, this just smells like lemon fledge. Like some lemon scents can, it doesn't do that. There is like this earthy kind of aromatherapy vibe that goes along with that. And it's just very, very invigorating and exhilarating almost. Like you smell it and it's like, oh, okay, I kind of want to like get up and do something and clean my house or something. Like it is very, very invigorating. So I'm looking forward to melting this one as well because again, I think it's gonna be perfect for spring, perfect for spring cleaning time. And that is it. That is my entire destination wax 
collective haul again three different orders i did also just want to show like i love the little notes here that that rebecca and her husband um leave on the bag of samples i just think they're so sweet it got, adds just a personal touch i'm super happy with these orders i'm super happy to have the scents back in my life like that i wanted to repurchase and really excited to try these new scents let me know in the comments below if you've ordered from destination wax recently in the past couple of months did you order any of her new scents are you planning on doing any customs and if you are going to do customs let me know what you're going to do i'm always super curious about what kind of blends people come up with ramona from ramona tolk had talked to me about a tomato leaf blend that she did last year ramona if you're watching this let me know below how that blend went because i'm really curious if you like that one or not because i'm thinking about doing some kind of green earthy kind of custom blend as well so yeah i always love to hear from you i always love to hear your favorites if you watch this video in its entirety leave me a green heart below if you like this video video or found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you like to see other videos like this please subscribe i do a monthly empties video where i go in depth to all of my vendor wax empties and i am going to try to do more vendor wax hauls on my channel i actually have quite a bit here i have an empire alchemy rose girl super tarts ba the bathing garden orders that i want to try to get videos out for so look out for those thank you for all of your support and all of your patience with my videos and my channel as my family goes through this difficult time with my grandmother i greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.